Rebirth Island is officially back. So today we're jumping straight in here with 10 tips that will allow you to start to get more kills. Now, when we talk about Rebirth Island, a lot of what we're going to be focusing on today, and it's important to understand that Rebirth plays faster than any other Resurgence map. It plays faster than Fortune's Keep. It plays faster than Bondle. It plays faster than Ashika Island. So a lot of what we're going to be focusing on is that pacing dynamic, starting off right here with early game and floor loot comfortability. You know, I've got a WSP9. I've got an MT. 762 we're going to start to push and why do we start to push because on other maps i i say don't push and get your loadout down the reason is this right here when we look at where our bounty is right bounties here you're going to see me fight a team in control okay you're going to see me fight a team here and then we obviously have this team back here who's going to loot into headquarters and they're going to loot into grandma's so what does that create well this buy station is going to be a little bit contested to get loadout down this buy station is going to be a little bit contested to get loadout down and this buy station is going to be a little bit contested to get loadout down so more games than not you're going to have to, I mean, look over here, even over this way, right? All the way in this corner of the map in, in Stronghold. Like, you are going to have to fight to get your loadout down. So you're going to have to find guns that you're comfortable with or be comfortable with a wide array of floor loot weapons and pay attention to the guns that you're most comfortable with so that you can get kills. Now, right here... I'm going to fly this guy with the MTZ-762 just because I'm never going to be able to get this guy down from here. The, the, the range is too difficult. The TTK isn't going to be quite fast enough. This guy's probably going to jump down, which is why I end up flying at him. Now, we also notice two teams here, right? They're not shooting at nobody. So there's two teams fighting down below. So I immediately go ahead and check this guy below me. Obviously, we're going to be talking about minimap pings after a kill. One guy above. Realize I'm in a bad spot. He's got a pistol, so I just kind of have to scare him off there, at which point you can see me rotate here. What do we do? Immediately start putting plates in. Take advantage of that increased movement speed. Now, occupation scan's going to happen here. Make sure we're dropping down. And while the occupation scan's happening, guys, if you are looking to get better, 68% of the people that watch my videos so far in April are not subscribed. So if you're looking to get better at Rebirth Island, start dropping more kills. Make sure you are subscribed. I'm a 4KD player. My whole goal is just to help you become a better player yourself. So we're going to notice two enemies here, obviously, that didn't drop down for the occupation scan. So we're going to take advantage of that, jump up top. We're going to be able to catch this guy pushing down, and I know that I have to follow him here. I actually catch a quick glimpse of the enemy to my left side. So I know I have to drop down, and then we see him on my level right here. Minimap pings after a kill, guys, are going to be crucial. Like I said, it's pacing, pacing, pacing. And a lot of times, teams are going to be stacking. Stacking is a big issue right now on Rebirth Island, and I get it. It's a team game. I'm in here playing solo trios. I totally understand. Pause that thought. Remember what I said about loadout. Right here, I'm going to get loadout down so I, that I can plan for the regain. One of the hardest parts of Rebirth Island, because, again, of the close quarters, because of the pacing, is going to be regaining. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this loadout down. I'm going to keep fighting with my WSP9 and my MTZ762, which I feel totally comfortable with. And then we're going to get that loadout later. But what else do we notice here? Again, going back to pacing and decision-making is weapon pings on the minimap. So you're going to see him pop up right about here in a second as I go to get loadout out down i know they're still floating around so if i die in this moment and get loadout down so be it loadouts down now we're in a good spot we go ahead and we have our regain available we just got to figure out how we get it but at least it's down and i've already spent the cash but like i said guys we got weapon pings biggest thing i noticed is that this enemy is on my level right he's not above me he's literally right around the corner here so now we start talking about our centering right when we talk about these close quarters good shots right there with high damage areas notice two enemies up above me so what do we do sprinting while plating and you can see this pacing 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 and what what's one thing that a lot of you guys don't do here a lot of you guys get that kill right so immediately we start plating why because if that next enemy is close i want to take advantage of the increased movement speed to go into this doorway at which point i can go right at which point I can go left, at which point I can go left and then up the stairs, at which point I can go left and then out the door, at which point I can go left and out the door and then to the right. Like you can kind of see that I start to have options here in terms of what I can do. Now, the moment that I see that he's not actually around us, okay, we're in a good position. Let's go ahead and work our way up, right? When we talk about the pacing of Rebirth Island, so much of it centering, right? Centering through because he was above me. I just didn't know if he was all the way up or on this level. Now we see that he's all the way up. 
so much of this is going to be constantly working towards that next enemy working towards that next enemy if it's a weapon ping working towards that next enemy it's a kill and look how i clear this pushing up the stairs right we clear around the corner we're going to clear around the corner here clear around the corner right i know he's above i just don't know where he is clear around the corner there clear around the corner there clear around the corner there we stun to try to get the information or hold an enemy off if he is on the rooftop because i'm not 100 percent sure where he is now we see one flying in above get that down now i'm gonna be honest here i don't know if and we're gonna talk about this in a little bit we're gonna talk about audio here in a second because i know how bad it is and i'll kind of talk about how you want to go about dealing with that i'm not a hundred percent sure in this moment if i caught the minimap ping here of this enemy on my level or if i heard him because i do hear footsteps but i don't know which one i acted on to be honest with you but all i know is this enemy is above on the rooftop and i've got to get down and what do we do here we immediately start sprinting while plating, right? Like I said, guys, if you are looking to get better, make sure you are subscribed down below. My only goal here is to help you become better players. Start to get more kills. More kills is more fun. So that's what I'm ultimately looking to help you do. Grab plates. What do we do? We push right back to the rooftop, right? It, you're going to, at times on Rebirth Island, feel like you're running in circles. You're going to feel like you're going down and then back up and then down and back up and down and back up. It's kind of like Vondo in that sense where we're going down and up and down and up. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead and keep putting ourselves in those positions on my level, right? That's the biggest thing that I notice here. A little weapon ping on my level. So I'm going to be a little bit patient here as I push across. See if I can catch him kind of running back towards me. You know, maybe take some damage and he starts running back towards me. And I can easily get that kill and catch him off guard. What do we notice as well, guys? If you are subscribed, six kills in the first. We're on 20 pace here. 20 pace for Rebirth Island. Going to be doing more videos on this, but 6-6-4-4. Six, six, four, four. six kills in the first, six kills in the second, four kills in the third, four kills in endgame. That is your 20 kill pacing right there. So far, we've covered a lot. Let's go ahead and talk about this right here. We're running the Holger 5.56. I think it feels really, really good right now. Got a slight little silent nerf here in the update. Renetti got a huge silent buff. Not in the patch notes. Got a huge buff. Absolutely the meta right now. This is I'm recording this three days into Rebirth Island. So if you're watching this later on, it might not be meta. Biggest thing I can tell you guys, make sure you check out ggs.ai. It's the website that I help create that basically helps you find the best weapons based on your playstyle. Balanced, tactical, aggressive. Uh, we have a full AI algorithm that does it for us and basically takes all the stats so make sure you guys go check that that out make sure you guys go sign up now when we talk about information here um this is a big one basically tracking where enemies are moving to so portable radars ping every two seconds uavs ping every three so watch this right so i know where this enemy is right he's right on the outside of this building right here right this little tent or something whatever that is so that's where i center my crosshairs now watch how he moves right so now he moves a little bit further back now he's going to move to the left side of the tent, which is where I center. Now I'm kind of starting to think about where is he actually moving to? Based on those three pings or the two pings that I got, where is he actually moving to? Now watch this ping right here. Now we see him through the tent. So we know that this enemy is here, right? And it is now moving this direction. Now, where is he moving from there? I don't know, but I'm going to guess that he's moving out in the open. We grab the Holger 556 or we swap to it where he's easily able to get that down at thirst. One enemy on my level, one enemy to the left side who I hear flying in. This Renetti, guys, is absolutely busted. I would be shocked if they don't nerf this thing like very, very, very soon. The range on it's insane, and you're going to see just how good the TTK is here as we go ahead and get into Nova 6. Right here, I tried to live ping this guy, which, you know, I, I talk about live ping all the time. It allows you to track where enemies are actually moving to and kind of takes away their element of surprise. But what do we do? We act on the weapon ping. We act on the weapon ping. Now, after this, what do we act on? We act on the minimap ping. The enemy that I downed with the Renetti inside is now up. So we're going to go ahead, push this direction, take our solo fights. A lot of keeping enemies split and keeping them from stacking is executing, capitalizing, and not allowing them to stack up because we're not giving them opportunities. The moment we miss windows to execute and get kills, we're going to go ahead and allow them to stack and get closer together. Now, what are we acting on? We're just acting on minimap pings over here, right? I hear the shoot shooting over this way that was a little bit out of control right there but we also see this enemy up top here so we're going to go ahead and act on that start to work our way across and see what we can find you know when we talk about rebirth island when we talk about you know comparing it to other maps 
information is still crucial, guys. Acting on weapon pings, acting on mini maps after a kill, portable radars, and of course, UAVs. UAVs are going to be important. The biggest thing with UAVs, I go back to the uncontested buy stations, right? You got to be very careful around your buy stations because there's generally going to be teams in the area. So if you see here, I'm back to running throwing knives. That's an important one. We're going to be talking about th that here soon. And we are running smokes here that we can use to outplay. Stims are also going to be a great option, guys, to get that health boost back, get it a little bit of a speed boost there but right here as i'm pushing towards this buy station i have no information that anybody's around but i hear a little bit of audio now i'm gonna pause here and talk about audio i hear some metal clanking around i hear some footsteps this is one of the biggest things that i need you to take away from today's video when we talk about audio audio is not good on rebirth island i hear stuff but i have no idea where the horizontal audio is awful the vertical audio is awful so i am simply using audio to understand that people are around me at which point i start to center my crosshairs and clear different corners of the building it's one of the most important things to understand we are using audio to understand that people are in the area that's it by the way notice the quick high alert there so i know somebody's back behind me this is this is it and now what do we get from here now we have a little bit more concrete information because we have these weapon pings, right? So now we have a little bit more something to act on. Do I know where they are? No. So what do we do? We get our crosshairs out. We center around this corner. We check right here. We're going to go ahead and push through, right? Check up the stairs. Now I again hear where he is. So I see him straight ahead right there. And also notice, if you guys missed it, we actually see this enemy in this little window here. I end up just keep pushing up because, yeah, he's right about here. It's right here in this window. But I end up still pushing up. I actually forgot that window was there. And then when I push up this way, I anticipated him. Look at the cr look at the centering, right? Perfectly centered where this enemy is. Easily able to get that kill. And this one right here, guys, we're going to have to finesse in close quarters, right? Little bit of hip fire to track. Little bit of movement. Take advantage of the broken TTK of the Renetti aftermarket right now. And by the way, I'll put that build for you down in the comments below. Like I said, if you're watching this at a later date, just be careful because they might have nerfed it. But if you're watching this today, or maybe within the next few days, this thing is absolutely broken. Now, I once again, just trying to clear. Just trying to clear here. Don't know where anybody is. High alert in the back, so we just kind of wait for him. And this is where we can change our pace, right? We don't always have to be moving. So in the, right here, you know, I'm going to expect this guy to chase because he saw me. Now we go ahead and easily able to get that kill right there. Take no damage. One enemy flying in, so we're going to go ahead and clear up top, right? Immediately act on the next piece. Now, the bigger thing here, and I'm just going to stop for a second. Let me just let you listen. So I end up just hearing the change of surface, right? You're going to, some of you guys are going to be like, oh, you're definitely cheating, da, 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 da. I just hear a change of surface. I hear from metal clanking to the, to the concrete stairs, and that's how I know where he is. Listen, metal. No idea. Stairs. There's the concrete, right? So now I know where he is and I can go ahead and take advantage of that. But that's about all the audio that I can use. There's not a, a ton. I didn't hear that guy below me. I didn't hear him on my level. All I heard was the change of the, the audio cue and that was, it was concrete stairs. And I went ahead and pushed. Now, also, what do you notice here? We're on good 20 pace. 6644 four guys. So we're at 13 here. We're obviously plus one. We're going to be able to build on this. I preemptively PA that because they have to rotate. This guy's down below me. I probably could have trusted Mountaineer there a little bit more still getting used to using Mountaineer on this map. It's a brand new map in terms of that. We didn't have Mountaineer in Warzone 1, so we're going to be playing around with that. I am still running Mountaineer. Going to be doing a full perks video in terms of what you can be running and whatnot in a few days here, but we're now plus three headed into third circle. We're in a really good spot here for our 20 kill game, and I'm going to finish this one with 24 here. Sorry to spoil it, but I want you to remember that, that we finished plus four. So right here, we're in a really good spot to just go ahead and grab 20 and be able to hit that, but then what can we do after that? Watch this. If you don't believe me with what I'm saying, guys, you're going to see it right here. Uncontested buy stations are very rare, so you have to be careful. Now, could I have Ego smoke this? And if you are subscribed, you know I talk about Ego smokes all the time. Smoke this. Go grab a UAV and dare them to push in. Yeah, I could have 100% ego smoked this. Uh, it's definitely something I'm going to be doing a lot more. I'm going to be smoking buy stations whether there's people around or not. You kind of have to because you never know where people are going to be. Now, from this point, what do we do? We take some damage. We break him. He breaks us. Immediately start sprinting while plating. Okay? And we can't trust audio. Listen. I hear it. And no idea where. No idea where. 
We're just going to clear. We'll take the AFK kill. I That guy probably DC'd or something. Servers are still struggling at times. And now let's go ahead and let's talk about our regain. Okay? We died. It is what it is, guys. It's going to happen. You know what? It's part of the game. I die. I'm a 4KD player. I die. You're going to die. It's going to happen. How do we regain from here? Um, and the most important thing to understand is, hey, we got our loadout down early, right? We fought a bunch with floor loot. We got our loadout down. We grabbed it, which means this is now our free loadout that we can grab. It puts us in a good spot to regain right here. So we're going to go ahead and fly back in. Very over aggressive, um, flying directly back in on loadout. One thing to understand on rebirth, guys, land in buildings. You can land on this rooftop. You can land in this window here. You can land bottom floor prison. Obviously, in this situation, we're not going to land over here because we know there's teams. But you can land close and then rotate over once that respawn timer is active. Be very careful landing directly back in on loadout because if you really think about it, teams on this building can shoot me. Teams on top prison can shoot me. Teams in here can shoot me. Teams in here can shoot me. I can also, if you really get into it, get shot from control. Like so many different areas that I can get shot from. So be very careful flying directly back in. If I had died right there, like I would have been so mad at myself for flying directly back in on that. Now we focus on respawn timer. Let's go ahead. And what do we notice right here? We go right back to it, baby. Mini map pings up top, right? So that is so important when it comes to acting on that information because that's going to tell me where to go multiple teams up top again as i always say guys they're not shooting at nothing it sounds stupid it sounds obvious they're not shooting at nothing they're shooting at each other so this is two teams that i'm pushing into right here one team got wiped we see obviously the wipe indicator right there the flare not sure where so we just got to be careful flying in five ping one right here flying in challenge around the corner holger 556 five, still feels really good we hit those throwing knives it feels good to have throwing knives back and i just missed sh some shots here this is my first day back playing just missed a few shots i got to be able to get that kill right there but what do we notice people on the backside by the bounty contract not sure if you saw it if you didn't see it you definitely have to catch that because that's where you're going to get third party a lot of times you're going to get third party because you miss information you miss where teams are you don't remember information you're missing where teams are shooting and stuff like that you're missing stuff on mini map pings so or uh, like uavs and portable radars that is where the third partying happens that you got to be very careful of. Now, when we talk about pacing of Rebirth Island, guys, quick, quick, quick decisions here. We're going to break this line of sight. We're going to replate. Now, we're going to go ahead and re-challenge this sniper right here. Let's go ahead and re-challenge this sniper. Now, as soon as we get the down, what do we do? One enemy downed up top here, right? So, one enemy down here, one enemy down here. Like, guys, this is a zero hesitation. You cannot hesitate right here. This is immediately putting the pressure on. We know that there's one more enemy left here. We center perfectly around the corner. Once again, we center perfectly around the corner. We hip fire right there. Down, uh, down thirsted, down and thirsted. One enemy still alive. Obviously, respawn... Uh, is disabled here so we no longer get those minimap pings and i'm gonna make a little bit of an aggressive play here guys this is a little bit aggressive you absolutely don't have to do this i've got 19 kills i was already thinking about potential 30 here so if i kill this guy and the two enemies that are flying back in that he's gonna buy here that just gives me more kill opportunity like i said a very aggressive play we're gonna let him buy back and then take the free kills right there there's our 20 10 enemies left here now we gotta clutch the win right when we talk about clutching the win guys one of the most important things to understand is that gas plays are bad like they're not fully back but i think gas plays are more viable and easier to do on rebirth island than maps such as like vondel vondel is okay ashika can be really really tough at times um and i think fortune's keep can get really weird with gas plays and stuff but i think rebirth island is a great map to do gas plays because you can quickly get to certain spots and you absolutely can finesse here so we're going to go ahead. We got 20 kills, 10 other teams. We know that there's, uh, sorry, 10 other enemies. We know there's people on the rooftop right here. So we need to go ahead and work our way up top. What do we do? Let's throw on our gas mask. Now we go ahead and go to work. And all I need to get to is knowing this map is get to a little bit of cover. A lot of top prison is about cover and angles, guys. So watch how I play my cover and angles up here. I catch this guy slipping. Why? Because he didn't play his angles well. And we're able to take him out of the fight. Now, what do we notice? We notice one enemy all the way back that we're going to live ping here. Right, so we're going to go ahead and work him, and then what do I notice? I catch this enemy to my left side here. So wasn't 100% anticipating him, but we just play him. How? Well, we break the line of sight from this enemy right here, and then we go ahead and challenge this enemy that's close, right? That enemy in the back can't shoot me here until we get the high alert, at which point we break the line of sight, we smoke it, and what do you notice right here? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Quick, 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 quick. A lot of quick decisions are going to happen. You've got to start to really act on that information and just trust your instinct or just really work on those quick decisions that you make. I'm going to have to push around right here. 
I'm in a really bad spot. So what do we do? We smoke. I still think smokes are great, guys. I, I think they buy us a lot of time. They buy us a lot of cover here. And you're going to see, like, this guy has no idea where I am. And even if he does, good luck trying to kill me with no aim assist. Now it gives me a shot here. Brunetti is broken. So we're going to sneak in a circle. Now, when it comes to end games, guys, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. In circle with cover, then power position. Nothing changes. We're going to be in circle here. We have cover, which means that we can chal at least challenge this sniper here, right? We can at least challenge him with the Holger, which it still feels so good. And we get a really, really tough circle pull right here. Get a really tough circle pull. One enemy back behind me. Get the down. We get the thirst. 24 right there. Four other enemies alive. Obviously, two teams. So we're going to go ahead and start to rotate over this way. Have to rotate out in the open. And what ends up happening, I just get killed immediately. Now, what was the mistake that I made here? I want to talk about this. There's something that I missed that a lot of you guys probably missed as well. When I talk about end games, guys, just remember gas masks and smokes are going to be still your best friend. Obviously, gas masks tend to run out a little bit quicker, but I just missed this. If I get this right here, I actually think I can rotate. I think I'm in a really good spot. Now, it's a tough rotation because you have this enemy that's already in circle right on the shack, and he can basically hold this wall right here. I think it would have been really tough, but that at least buys me some cover, at least buys me a little bit of time and stuff to be able to try to figure out what my next move is. I don't know what my next move would be. It'd be a really tough way to win this, but point being is slow down for a second. I obviously missed those smokes right there. Always look for them end game. And I think that would have really helped me at least try to put myself in a better position. So I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today and I will see you tomorrow.